Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Blaine, Associate Professor with Ohio State University Extension. And Earth is Our Home is a video series now in its third season. I want to make sure that people understand some of these basic terms and basic concepts. For example, Ice House Earth, you may hear that, and it's very important to know what that is because that's the Earth we're in now. Ice House Earth is what happens when you have snow and ice at places on the surface of planet Earth, on the oceans or on continents. And that's different than Hot House Earth, which uh, refers to the kind of Earth you had when the dinosaurs ruled the Earth. The temperatures then were about 18 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than what we have now. Imagine a tropical climate up in northern states in the United States where Tyrannosaurus rex roamed around Montana, the Dakotas and so forth. Even imagine crocodiles in northern Canada, tropical type climate temperature in uh, northern Canada about like Florida or Cuba. That's the hot house and we live in the ice house. So it is true we're a lot colder than we were then. But Ice House Earth has been with us now for over 10 million years. And that's our Earth that we know as humans and that in which we can survive. Now the ice ages are periods within the ice house in which all that snow and ice comes down right across Canada and comes into what is now the United States. During the last ice age, about 25,000 years ago, where I live in Northern Ohio was underneath ice year round, a mountain of ice about 5,000 feet thick. These are very cold intervals in the ice house. But ice age and ice house are not synonyms. The ice age occurs during ice houses and the ice house is the earth that we have. About 18 degrees cooler than the hot house and about 10 degrees warmer than the ice age. Now, down there at the bottom, you may see Snowball Earth. Snowball Earth refers to some events that occurred prior to our eon. Our eon on planet Earth, where we have animals and plants large enough to see with the naked eye, is a little bit less than 600 million years uh, old. If you go back before that to a prior eon, there were times when the Earth froze all the way to the equator and basically became a snowball. Uh, but that hasn't occurred during our eon. I go back, a lot of people wonder, why do you go back to hundreds of million years in the first place? It's to try to put things in context. But going back to explain or talk about snowball Earth wouldn't even be in our eon. It was over 650 million years ago. But I do want you to understand Snowball Earth, Snowball Earth is not the same as Ice House or the Ice uh, Ice House Earth or the Ice Ages. They're they're different things. And of course, you can always feel free to contact me if there are topics you would like for me to address. Uh, my email is right there, Blaine.17 at osu.edu. There's my phone number. And I would love to be able to uh, construct some programs around some of your feedbacks or some of the things you would like to learn. So look forward to hearing from you and look forward to seeing you soon on Earth is Our Home. Thank you.